So this is the image I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer so we can see the before and after. Click on this icon and then select the paintbrush tool. And now left click on the foreground color. And now I'm going to select a color. So I'm going to select this red color here. The HTML notation is FF0000. Make sure to remember this color here, press OK, because this is an important step. And now I just need to paint over the object or person I want to remove on the image. I don't need to create a transparent layer, so I'm just going to paint it over this layer here, on this layer. And now let's just paint it. Make sure the hardness and the force are 100%, are all the way up. Otherwise, it won't work really well. And now go to filters and then select GMIC. And now left click on the search bar and then type in paint. Sorry, I made a mistake. So in paint. So there are two filters. You can either use in paint patch based. So as you can see, there are a lot of settings. And this is the mask color. This is the color we used. So if I left click on the mask color, so here's the HTML notation. It's FF0000 with the hashtag, press OK. So this filter is going to recognize the object or person to remove according to the color you use to mask the object on your layer. And then there is the multi-scale. So same thing here. It has the mask color. You need to use the same color used to mask your object. And now here, the good thing is that you can change the settings and see the preview. So here I'm going to increase the patch size. So this is the number of iteration. So you can still click on this icon here to reset the settings to the default. So here it is. So now I'm going to tweak a little bit the settings here. So I think I'm going to leave it with this one here and now just click OK. So as you can see, the multi-scale didn't give me a good result. So I'm going to select the patch base. So go to filters and then ratio GMIC. And now select in paint patch based. And now I'm going to tweak a little bit these settings. I'm going to increase the blend threshold. So let's try to reset, for example, here the settings. So I'm going to increase the mask duration and then just press OK. And now select the hill tool. I'm just going to fix some of the issues here. I'm going to reduce the hardness and the force. And now hold the control key and then left click on the area you want to copy and then just paint over the areas you want to fix. So now just paint here just slowly. So now let's see the before and after. 